All right, so we got a prediction for Morgan State and North Carolina Central this week. MEAC conference play starts this Saturday. Um, Morgan State enters this game at 3-4. and four. North Carolina Central is 5-1. and one. The last seven matchups between the two teams has, has gone to North Carolina Central. But I think this game is going to be closer than a lot of people expect. Um, starting off with Mor Morgan State, uh, head coach Damon Wilson has done a great job defensively of um, holding teams to under and around like 21 points. Since he's got there in 2022, uh, the defense was ranked number one in the MEAC first year as his head coach. Um, at first year being head coach, they held teams to 20.9 points a game. Going into 2023, they're holding teams to 21.4 points a game. And now fast forward to this year, it's 17.7 points a game. So I think the, the biggest thing in going into this game is can Morgan State's defense stop North Carolina Central's offense? North Carolina Central has been playing dominant since the year has started. They're 5-1 right now. Both teams are coming off a of bye. Um, North Carolina Central's last game was against uh, Lynchburg, and they blew them out. I mean, 68-0. They are a lower division school. Morgan State is coming off a loss to Merrimack, which was a close game. I believe they lost that game like 32-24. to um, So I'm leaning towards North Carolina Central, but I think it's going to be closer. Like with Damon Wilson's defense, shout out to Coach Sewell, Sewell over in uh, Morgan State. I think the task is going to be can the defense of Morgan State stop the offense of North Carolina Central. North Carolina Central has guys like Jamari Taylor, Walker Harris, Markel Quick, if he is playing. I believe he got injured in the game against Campbell. You got Davis. Um, and then on the last game, I think Zion Dobson got, got a lot of the burn at running back, but I think Jamari Taylor is their guy. So if Morgan State is able to slow down the offense of North Carolina Central, I think the game is close. If they, if they aren't, then like most of North Carolina Central's games prior, um, they're going to end up, you know, putting up poss a possible 30, 40 points. But I just don't see that because... Morgan State, historically, since Damon Wilson has got there, has been able to do a tremendous job with keeping teams under, you know, under or around 21 to 28 points. So then the battle would be getting Morgan State's offense to to capitalize on those on those stops. So, you know, when you have guys like Deuce Taylor, Marquez Phillips and Andre Crawley, those guys got to be able, oh, and J.J. J. 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 Davis, those guys got to be able to put the ball in the box, um, score touchdowns to keep the game going, like keep the momentum that the defense has from the stop, transfer that to the offense, to a touchdown, field goal, whatever it is necessary to put up points. So interesting game, possibly, if Morgan State is able to stop North Carolina Central's offense. If not, then this game will get put away early. And, you know, Morgan State will get served the first loss in conference play. Interested to see how Morgan State as a program continues to grow under the direction of D Damon Wilson. Um, and, you know, Coach Oliver at North Carolina Central has found that secret formula to build a winning program. So shout out to him and the rest of his team.